What's up, everybody? Guess who's back? This guy! We got our other host back, guys! What's up, guys? Comic Combos is complete again. I, mean, I know. We, I mean, we, we were never, never, really, I know, it was, it was uh, weird. Like, my whole thing was so short. <laughs> I gotta come <laughs> back and do this at the end of the week. He's so dedicated, guys. I mean, I'm not so gonna lie, this was a huge well, reason so that I... Like, there was a lot of other reasons that my thing in New York didn't work out. Uh, but... What's up, Cy? What's up, Susie? Hey, Good thank to you, see guys, you guys so much. Happy May the 4th, everyone. May I it mean, be with you. It is always. Star Wars Day. It's like, guys, this is the official Star Wars Day for us. I mean, it's for the nerdy people who love It is. It's May, May the 4th be with you has been our day since since Star Wars came out. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, it's... It's just amazing to have one whole day for this entire franchise. Like, it's done so, so well. Oh, nice, Cy. You thought it was a guest, huh? May the 4th be with you as well, Susie. I know. Yeah, no, well, it was, uh, uh, I was originally going to do it by myself, actually, believe it or not. I was going to, Axel was going to jump in, chime in with some comments, but the situation changed. Yep. Now he's back, and now we're back rolling with Comic Combos again, guys. Yeah, guys, it's great. Uh, like I said, uh, you guys are a huge reason I came back. This is a huge part of my life, and... You know, missing it even for the for the one week it seemed like was such a thing. And then, you know, dang it, like I said, everything together. But I'm so happy to be with you guys today. And like I said, we're doing May the 4th. Tomorrow's Revenge of the 5th. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Revenge of the 5th. New studio. New studio. No, uh, no this we've is actually. actually our second location. Yeah, we this is. Go back Leo's, and forth between. Yeah, them. and uh, this is Leo's location here. We. we Meet up uh, at each location, kind of depending on uh, logistics. Yeah, and things like basically that. availability. Does like today we came to Leo mostly because uh, Leo's got a bunch of stuff going on today around this area, so it's a lot easier uh, to do it here. That way he can run. I, I believe you're going to Guardians after this, actually, right? Yep. Nice Boy, man. It's gonna be nice. awesome. Actually, who knows? I might end up joining him. I'm not sure yet. I kind of gotta. <laughs> Watch myself. I blew a little bit of money going to New what York. What up, Louise? So. Oh my hey, goodness, Louise, we have ten thanks. comments We're already so far. at ten. Gosh, thanks, guys. Wow. And oh man, it's Today already was goes... an amazing day, Susie. Oh, I agree. So oh, much. My goodness, so. Such a great day. I mean, where can we start, guys? I mean, so much Star Wars oh. lore to cover. It's just like crazy right now. Like oh. we got all these theories going around about what's going on with Luke. And you got all these things with Ray, and people don't know exactly. Oh my God! There's, there's like, right all right, now. and then like, all right. So that was the whole thing, and we talked about this. Oh man, Susie has told me that she's like, this is definitely fun. with me. <laughs> the camera's a little weird, or is it me? Uh, and, hmm. uh, well, it might be that I'm just a little bit on the side. The other thing is uh, when we do casts from Leo's side, we use the uh, phone, which has a. That's Small, a fish eye, uh, right? Yeah, it's a, it's actually like a wide angle. We use a wide angle lens wide angle. on the phone. Yeah, um, which is which, which is should, fine. Should do fine. Yeah, uh, it just gives us a little more uh, of a range. Yeah, it, it also kind of gives us a roundness that the other one doesn't. Backwards. It's backwards. Oh, he means we're on the wrong side. Usually, I sit oh. on the right, but actually here, this is the right side. Usually on at Leo's. Yeah, because we're just flipped. Yeah. Yeah, it's no, weird, right? The... That is interesting. No, I never no, thought about no. that. Maybe that's some kind of subconscious. So I said it's good now. Well, hey, oh, I'm with the combos, guys. Oh, I'm with the combos. Uh, so where do we want to start with this? I know we have okay, a so lot of Star this Wars. Week, too. Oh, man. This week, man, I mean, even just besides Star Wars, you had Defenders. I mean, oh. wow, that trailer was amazing. Getting, Dude, that trailer is maybe one of the it? best trailers. Oh, uh, man, it's probably one of the best trailers I've seen period, this year. Period, yeah. Like, I mean, uh, I mean even, even period, yeah. Period, yeah, period okay. this year for sure, one of the top. But, I mean, even just as classic trailers go... When do we see any movie besides maybe the Avengers being the only other instance I can think of where there's a six or three, four le series lead up into, into this? That. Yeah, that's, a that's such, such, like such a, a huge. huge Leo, Leo always up. sits on the What's right up, for me. Oh, Leo! Oh, wow! Well. The trailer was the shit. Yes, it was, Susie. Oh my goodness, the trailer. I think I've watched it probably five or six times. Oh God, you yeah. The toy is on the right of our angle. Oh, gotcha. There you go. Hydra Avengers? No. Ah, I read that. It was terrible. And the thing is, people think it's only Vision and... No, no, no. It's more than that, just that, that's the thing. People, sets. Yeah, I know. People think it's only that, though, because they only see that Picture thing. and see those Right, people. but when you go in, it's Spider-Man and Deadpool, Deadpool and Ooh, everybody. So many people. Basically, a bunch of the Avengers are crazy. Like... All of them are going into Hydro Cap's huge plan, and 
I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it's making me more of a DC fanboy. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, talking about that. Really uh, getting into the Flash. By the way, big reveal. Everyone who's watched the Flash this week, I still am not caught up on that episode. But Sai, I know you're a huge, huge Flash fan. Um, and yeah, we got to learn who Savitar was this week. If anybody else is into Flash, um, Savitar was revealed this week. Nobody's gonna say anything. Uh, hopefully nobody spoils in the cast, because we're definitely not going to spoil. No, we, uh, we we actually discussed just a minute ago doing a, uh, a spo- some some kind of side Maybe like spoilers. a small spoiler channel. We maybe, we, maybe you know small... what I think would be cool with that is maybe, and like, and I see it with that comic com- the Comics Explain thing, but I think this would be a more succinct, less thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe we do like five, maybe one to five minute videos where we just pick something, some big, you know recent thing hopefully maybe an older thing yeah. and it's just like you know spoiled you know it's like oh uh the force awakens spoiled spoiled yeah you know what i mean just like a small spoiler review that'd be I'm cool. waiting for someone to catch up oh i'm sorry Susie. <laughs> we're trying we're trying, we're trying to, catch to catch up, up. there's so much i <laughs> and then i was out in new york all week i didn't do anything out there guys but work Oh, and speaking of catching up, uh, the Star Wars Rebels actually oh, has their final season coming they up. They do, they do. Uh, speaking of which, it's like, where I wonder where it's going to go from here, because last time, wasn't the la- very last part of season two we saw was Ahsoka Tano versus Darth Vader, so it was a huge, i never seen Star Wars, I apologize, I was going to binge watch all this week, but didn't have the time. Oh, uh, it's okay, that's all There's right, no man. worries, man. Hey, it uh, we, 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 you know... We are super Star Wars fans. Well, like, I'm not even super, because even last time we had the Star Wars trivia. Yeah, I mean, it's like that Star Wars trivia was really Which hard I, for man, us, it too. It would, nice, uh, would have been nice to uh, have that again. Mm-hmm. Would have been nice. But mm-hmm. I didn't think of it, and I just got back in, actually, last night. At, we'll like, do a little Googling for you guys. No we can do, yeah, we can do that, but uh, I got in at, like, 2 a.m., so there's no way I can run for a video. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, LaGuardia. But, yeah, guys, guys, I mean, we got, let's see, we got Star Wars Rebels coming oh. up in August, which will finally conclude that series, and it'll kind of show us, like, exactly how that bridges the gap between 3 and 4. Like, what's going to happen with Ezra, and what's going to happen with uh, that... All the other team members, right? It's like, what, well, the real really question, I don't know. And the hard part being, like, especially when they frame this in how tall is the damn ship? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember I that one. But they knew, that. Susie. They knew. They're good. So they're, I, they're, very good. they're very good. I will say that the, you, as with anything that's made forty years ago, you're gonna have to watch the original Star Wars with a little bit of, uh. uh SFX. S- yeah, you gotta just you, you gotta know, watch it. Come on, you, you can't expe- you, you expect can't a forty year old harshly. movie yeah, you to just have can't the best. Judge it too remember much the that at the time they were cutting edge graphics, and, and, and remember also that at the time this is when the story has started. So there are some little things that might seem a little weird now, but are totally. Oh wow! In best. Canada, really, Susie? Wow. Susie says the the newest one, The Last Jedi, is being filmed in Canada, which is interesting. It's like I gotta take a trip to Canada. Uh, dude. Canada, eh? some Star Wars. No, no, <laughs> just Canada, playing, Susie. <laughs> Canada <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was just a couple hours from Susie a little bit ago. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. man. Yeah, New York. New York. New York. New York. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, um, I kind of want to talk a little bit about Kylo Ren and Darth Vader because I saw something earlier in one of the Star Wars groups, oh, man. and Always. somebody is working on a video. Like it, I don't, I don't think it's an edited scene. I think it's actually like an originally done scene. Somebody was talking about or um, displaying Kylo Ren and Vader fighting. It almost looked like an edited version of Force Awakens, but I think it would take some really good editing for that to I be. Mean, it I mean, I think they might have done this as an original film. And uh, let's just say, so far, Vader's looking like he's gonna mess Kylo up. Like he's like, okay, so the whole way it starts is like. It's like maybe two minutes long, and uh, it's actually it actually looks exactly like the scene where um, Ray and Kylo meet, and Kylo has his helmet on. Well, Vader shows up and he turns around and tries to stop Vader with the you know with his hand, kind of like he did the blaster blast. Right. So he tries to stop Vader, and Vader's like very impressive, but he just keeps on walking. <laughs> he like freezes for a split second. He's like very impressive, but just keeps on walking. Yeah. Kylo Ren activates his lightsaber, and Vader just kind of like easily deflects it. He's just like whatever, and then the, it's like to oh, be continued. Man. The thing being like, 
I Here's, mean, I feel like Vader is an obvious winner in that. But, uh, Vader would own Seriously, just Kylo's like Vader ass. would own Kylo's seriously, ass. Seriously, what's I, up? I do there? believe that. The thing is, when you look at feats of people, I always... When you don't have direct confrontation... And we talk about this a lot in the versus comic battles because we were a part of those when we started. Before Comic Convos was even a thing, me and Leo were, were very into that. Into the verses and I all heard that. that. In Star Wars land, you were going to be able to drink blue milk. How do you think it will taste? I like milk, probably. Right. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> the, milk a little they're not bit gonna, sweeter. Really. Right. They're, they're <laughs> just going to put food coloring in right, it. Right, exactly. Um, you guys are awesome, by the way. So, uh, thank you oh, for thank being you in for our being lives here. in Comic Convos. Hey, what's, what's up? up? Good Thanks. to see you, Marcel. Hell yeah! How have you been? Talk, man. Just just heard about. I forgot he was. I think he just posted he finished a commission or something. So good job, man! I know you're killing it at work. I saw the post. Keep killing it. Yeah, keep killing keep it. Keep killing friend. it with the music. I saw the thing Happy you and Jason did. So yeah, fucking kill it, man. Dude, you both of y'all are killing it. Yeah, man. Uh, so with all of this being said, you know we talk about Kylo a lot, and so the real question we have to think about is. What have we seen Kylo do? Exactly. What is the extent of his powers? And we right. don't have a definite no, meter no. We to have measure. we have very little to go mm. off of, and the little that we do have to go off of, unfortunately, is not as impressive. Mm. Will taste like Ooh. bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> they man. smell worse. I thought they smelled bad on the <laughs> end outside. <laughs> No worse than Happy they taste. Happy May the 4th, though. Andrew. Good serious, to see you back, man. Serious. Uh, and like you said, I, we always forget. Uh, oh, yeah. Susie plus wine equals interesting commentary. Hey, that's oh, okay, you know, that's okay. Hey, I like hey, interesting right. commentary. You know what I mean? Interesting commentary. That's what I live for right there. Couldn't, couldn't get enough of it. Have you considered doing a gaming live stream? I do do gaming live streams, actually. If you come and check out my stuff, I do gaming live streams. Yep, and I'm with gonna start camera. doing them with the console stuff as well. Nice. What's up, Corey? Good to see you, man. Happy yeah, May the if, 4th. If you wanted to check that out, Luis, just come to my channel at twitch.tv slash axelgrave. I do Overwatch, League of Legends, Battlefield, yep. Gears of War 4, a uh, ton of different stuff. I think we've got Worms, we've got... Uh, Oh, you gotta do worms too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've totally done. Fun. We we even have been at. Like I said, I've been financing the group for a while now. But luckily, my second guy has been financing games lately. So we've been picking up new games specifically oh, to play sweet, on the channel. Dude. Uh, will it be warm or cold? That's a good question. He's Hopefully cold if it's mm. blue. Ooh, that's. Uh, you know what? I know what it is. Oh, it's my fault. I'm sure. Uh-oh. Let me kill some of these, or let me post some of these so that they're done. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's just too much going on there. I need to find a way to share these without, like, actually being on the live video. Hopefully we're not cutting out too much. Will the we're... blue milk be served lukewarm? Blue <laughs> side of, of Tauntaun, Tauntaun Crispers. Crispers. They, they will be oh, served. Oh, man. I that was a good so. one, Andrew. Yeah, that, that was, was a, awesome. That was a good one. I gotta <laughs> give you that. Yeah, dude. The lukewarm, yeah, that's um, too good. But, yeah, you think about Kylo Ren, and you can't really determine his power level at this point. Like... Think about, okay, yes, yes, you get beaten by Ray, and I know a lot of you are kind of pissed off about that. But yep. let's, let's back up a little bit and also look at the damage he took from a blaster, which can kill someone in one hit. Dead it shot, it can easily kill someone. It hit him right in the side, so he was easily disabled at that point. Damn, Finn man. got a good hit on him. You know, eh, there was like some good damage done to him, so we can't. We, we, we don't still know can't now. Him. Now here and here's my argument for this. Now, the granted, yes, Ray, and that's what I will say. The the attribution we can't see what his real lightsaber skills are because versus Ray, he was heavily injured. What I will say is, as far as heavily injured goes, Darth Vader. Probably stacks at the top of the charts with no <laughs> arms or injured. legs. And <laughs> yeah, the mechanical seriously. components of Vader's body severely limit him as a Jedi. Physically, uh, especially. And, and, and in fact, he's often shown as having to control the suit with the Force. Ray! Ray's a badass. Uh, let's see. Kylo Kylo's is too, too emotionally, emotionally unstable, unstable I got to you over here. fully control his own power and see his true potential. Yeah, I would, that's, I I would can, say that's I can see that except, except for the fact that the Sith derive... Power through anger and uncontrolled. But I think what Andrew might be saying, and I kind of agree, is that he's almost stuck in between the two of them. Still. I can see that because he's fighting his light star, trying is. to be. He's trying to be dark, dark so much that he's fighting the light that's naturally in him. And then Andrew, okay, yeah, that is definitely what it makes. Because then he says, granted, he could be more stable for the dark side after killing his father. Very true. So he that could. that is what we're talking. He's still weak, but I think he's going to beat Ray in their next battle. I agree. I agree. But but that's just because I know the Star Wars formula. Mm-hmm. Episode one. The Everybody's, master dies. Yep, the master dies. Episode, Episode two, two, 
the this revenge of the, of the such and such. Yep, it's like okay, here's <laughs> the, the last Jedi. Bam, there bam, yep. The last so, Jedi. and then the third one, you know, the Jedi comes out. And actually, and, and this is like I said, the my call in this one is that Luke dies in the next movie because that would very much be uh, the blow. Yeah, and I guess Ray or or maybe not past. dies, but ca- maybe captured like Han. That would be better because I'm, I mean let's not keep on repeating the same formula. The thing is like it's all right to not repeat the exact same formula, but when a formula works, man, they don't stop. That's true. I mean, and look I mean, at Marvel, especially. I mean, I like and they just keep just, the thing is it's it's about keeping, and that's the thing. You repeat, you can't be totally new because they talk about people hate change. They absolutely hate it. Well, here I'll pose this then: they can stick to formula if they make these characters original. I don't want Ray to be a Skywalker. No. I don't want Finn to be related to anyone. I don't think he is, though. I mean... No, but there's been... We're pushing... Theories. I don't want Maybe Snoke we'll... to be anyone, either. I just want him to be kind of like another... I want him to be... Person. So I don't want him to be another... Because then I'm just like... he. I feel like there's just so... I want him so... to connect, though. Like, I almost... want him to be like the lo- long-lost... Like, Sith... Apprentice Robert's... of Darth yeah, Maul. Exactly. Okay, so I don't want like him that. directly connected to the main storyline, as we've seen it with Sidious... Or Vader. Maybe someone he worked maybe, with one of right. the smaller... Or maybe even if we got something with Legends. They need a whole new story. And it's a great setup for a battle with the great Jedi that is Luke and Rey. Uh, agreed, Andrew. Like you said, that that whole battle between one side and the other is what we think this whole Last Jedi and the, the Order of the Coming of the Great Jedi hopefully mm-hmm. is about, is finding the balance between, between the, the two Sith and, and the Jedi yeah, and hopefully to be they kind true of just Jedi. Come together. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hopefully they just come together... To make rules like the Jedi, right? Uh, which were very, which are still very interesting. Stop trying to stay attached to the past. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the Jedi. Let's let's have this conversation a little bit. The Jedi aren't really that much more innocent than the Sith. No, they they pick they, a they pick a uh, they, pick, a they pick who they think is the good side, and mm-hmm. then they fight for them, despite obvious. Because um, that that's the thing, happened. the Jedi backed the Galactic Council for years, years. until it became, uh, you know, the Emperor the and the, the Imperial Council. Yeah. Um, and, stop and, trying to stay... T- yeah, but the, the thing is, we like I said, people don't like massive change. Like, no one wants just this whole, like, if we were totally separated from the entire storyline and just shot off somewhere into space with no Jedi, you know what I mean? Well, I don't want a complete... No, I no, want no. a little bit of time right, in, but, but I don't want Ray to be a Skywalker. Right, and so and what I'm saying want... is that you need a little change, a little bit of the same, to keep the roots, and then what's important is not the similar, because the same obviously has worked before, probably will work again. The importance is the new stuff that they add into the story to make it exciting and enthralling, like, how are we going to make this... Let's I, I, not make this a spitting image of five. The Jedi that's needs... what That's what seven was. <laughs> seven was a spitting, a spitting image. image of four. Uh, the it, Jedi it, needs an it, it, it was exactly <laughs> pretty much... Not only, like I said, we were... I was very, like... While I enjoyed the movie, it was a great continuation, etc., etc., etc. Like, there were obvious problems. For example, they, we need new story plots. Like, can we get, like, a galactic disease or something? Or... Something exactly. besides the planet destroying. Right. Seriously, it's been done to death. Four movies or three movies. I mean, plus now we got Rogue One where planets are just being sh- destroyed left and right. <sighs> and we've seen it cinematically now. Yeah, they it's like, like shot mm-hmm. off the death. <laughs> they, they, they shot off the Death Star. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely that way. And it just is, it de- definitely needs to change. We've talked about it and we both agree that... The, the Jedi does need to end. Like, mm-hmm. the Jedi needs to loosen up. And this is the reason why Darth Vader became who he was. Because, yes, he was down to do the right thing. But the right thing wasn't always the Jedi way. And let's be honest here. Like, sometimes the right thing was saving that person who was really in peril, you know, and trying to sacrifice your life to protect the others that are around you. But that's still not the Jedi way, technically. Right. It's not the Jedi code. No. Because that's too emotional. Yep. You can't but it's like, have when is that emotions. when is that threshold when is that threshold gonna break for the Jedi? When right. is that when, when it's like we... when can you actually act upon emotion and say, I need to protect my friends instead of being, you know, with the Jedi Council Council and be on the light side of the fir- the force, deserting de- de- deserting her on a sand filled planet like OWK did with Luke himself. Oh well that yeah. I like that theory, Andrew. Ray is, I think, the last Padawan Luke saved from Kylo Slaughter Fest. 
I think I would I would be a okay with that. Like I, I would be, but really I, I would say that. that the so far they've postulated at least by Ray's own admission that she has nothing to do with the Jedi, from her own knowledge, yeah, that's very true. and she even has pa- knowledge of her own past as they show her as a girl. Mm-hmm. So, but, but there was a whole theory that her mind got erased by Luke. Now mm, that's I mean, reaching out. That's, that's that, like I said. Well, there's a lot far, of reach when when the the realistic thing is the simple answers are often the right ones, mm-hmm. and that uh, I mean he's probably just training her on the planet like Yoda did or somewhere. Which if also that. we also we're talking about how weak Ray seemed. Yeah, because uh, she seemed to be struggling to lift rocks, l- little, little rocks. Little, little now pebbles. maybe this was uh, uh, like uh, ambient force use, you know, unintentional. Yeah. But even then, then she lacks the control of the for- enough force to control her output. It just leaks out, and she comes out. It's not good either. And it looks like she's, all, she's just becoming. Oh, it keeps cutting like, it's out. It's gonna be that. Oh. I guess I just have to be careful with the sharing. I don't know why it would be so crazy, but yeah, it says we're still alive. So. It it's probably is just cutting out once in a while. It's... But hey, guys, we're still here. We're still May here. The fourth is still here as well. But yeah. um... Where were we? Yeah, in terms of the the whole theory about Ray, it's like you're right. There she said nothing prior to that scene where she was dropped off on the planet. That is all we got. We don't know what happened to her prior. We don't know who her parents might be. We don't know what kind of origin she might come from. She seems to be unaware of the force and the Jedi completely or Right, or at least for the most is, for the most part. Um she's new to the force, she's According to her, has never used it before. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, maybe. Well, and the question is, will they keep on teasing us? Will they even They're, answer it? In I this movie? almost guarantee they will, but that's even more beyond that point. It's like, it's like uh, Ray is a whole new Star Wars era. I'm down for this. I am too. Like, I want uh, this whole thing to go into the new Jedi, the Gray Jedi. The, but here's and then here's my problem. Like, and so we talked about this before too. When do we stop? Is this the last trilogy we're going to get from Star Wars? Apparently, Can... this is what I heard. Now, around the grapevine, apparently what's going on <laughs> is that this is the last kind of like main trilogy. Right. And they're going to start doing these anthology films right, as based the... solely on characters like, you know, Han and Solo and uh, Boba Fett is going to get one. That um, seems interesting. Which, although... which will be cool, which that actually kind of is like... Uh, well, I want to see right if they now. go... Well, I'm sure it's shaky, but yeah. I want to see if they go with the comic book stories of him escaping the Sarlacc pit and... We don't know, man, because the director walked off the set the other day, just waltzed off. My thing is... They don't know who, if they don't know if they want to continue. It's just kind of... My thing about there. all that is like, all right, your director left, get a new director. Get, yeah. get a Star Wars nerd That's exactly to direct. how I feel, but the, here's the thing, it's like, they're not actively searching for one, and yeah. they kind of have it on the back burner. About so, time. <laughs> it's about time a woman became the voice of the Sith. <laughs> yes, Susie. That would be awesome. <laughs> and more female Sith. More uh, oh, more female it? Jedi warrior main character. Can we just have more people? Like, I just period. saw a fact that all of the uh, rebel pilots in the original trilogy, none of them, none are, of them female. are female. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you posted that one. Someone posted that. We need an, an old... old Republic. Yes! yes! Yes, yes, please. All the old republic. Oh my Can I have the tales of the Jedi and or the? Uh, yes, please, please. All of the tales of the please. Jedi. Please, those are. I, I the love Sith the old Wars, republic. The, uh, yeah, the golden. Sith like I said, the, the, the most powerful stuff. characters you almost see in any of them are done in like those eras or in the post uh, trilogy era legends eras, which were people like uh, Ben Kenobi and Cadis. Uh, K- uh, Darth Cadis, which is Kylo cousin, Ren, kinda, which is supposed to be the equivalent of, of who Kylo, Kylo Ren's supposed yeah. to be. I'm a good number. Yeah. Susie, are you switching <laughs> over the dark side? I think she's always been dark side. Oh man, man she's been hiding it. You uh, gotta Andrew, hide from the other I guess they're saying that they might do an old Republic thing with Netflix. Well, oh, I would love to see it. The thing is, lit. we'll the, see. The other thing is, when we see that, we're gonna see changes. So always expect to see changes to your great original. Yeah, because you know the legends is not canon. Did you anymore, see so the um? Do whatever they want. Now. And then going a little bit off topic because it just reminds me of all the stuff that's been coming out this week. Did you see the stuff for the Runaways? Yeah, man. What did you think? Stuff. It looks amazing. I thought. I actually thought. Did that, you get to see the trailer? I did. Apparently, it's leaked out, and I still haven't seen I, it. I saw a little bit of it. Uh, they don't have a big trailer. It's not a big trailer. It's just a teaser. Yeah, ever. it's a teaser. I always have been, except for have love for Yoda. Yoda, everybody loves Yoda. Yoda's amazing. 
They you can't Somebody not. was like saying Yoda should have an origin film, which I'm like, uh, keep him a secret. Keep him kind of mysterious, you know? Uh, we don't need to know his I don't origin. Know. I think, didn't they already do some Yoda backstory in Legends? They did a little bit in Legends, but they haven't done it cinemat- cinematically, and they haven't done it to a huge My thing is, like I said, I'd much rather, I love it, y'all live from New York? No, no uh, I'm, I'm back in town, Ronnie. So if you need to hit me up, let me know, bro. But yeah, I'm, I'm back from the NY, so... But yeah, man, uh, there is a little bit of Legends Yoda, but there's not a lot. No, 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 no. Um, and I think I would like to keep it that way. Just kind of keep it small. You know, I don't think a whole anthology film of Yoda. No, and, like, no, his no. childhood and all that is I necessary. would rather see that in book form, honestly. Mm-hmm. Anything like that, I would yeah, rather see in book form. That actually wouldn't be bad. I, I think Yoda's like more of a book? read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Maybe yeah. even a two-parter. Yeah, you know, like, like, the, 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 like the like the the young times of Yoda, and then the, the old time. You know what I mean? Right, like a small, like his younger child. They did a, a bit moth Yoda background. Really, love for Yoda you have. The Force <laughs> with you strong, <laughs> strong with you. The Force is sorry. That there's a there is a pattern to that. Yeah, there there's a whole grammatical pattern to for Yoda speech. speech. Yeah, a bit of Yoda in the background. No, she said they did a bit of oh. the background. Oh, oh, gotcha, which, gotcha. Yeah, I think she's referring to Legends, and they did. They did. Um, but, it, yeah, you know, a book would actually be awesome. I think it a would, Yoda because, be, especially maybe written from the perspective of Yoda. Yeah. That, that I think. amazing. Especially if they did it in the dot. Like, because that would make the read a oh, little man, interesting. It'd be, it'd be an but interesting, you'd hear goofy it, read. But only when he, like, actually talked. You know, yeah, maybe, yeah, but, like, the whole, the rest of the text is obviously done in the regular English strong program. with you the forces <laughs> nice definitely uh we're loving it like you said uh, i don't think we got to share into any of the star wars groups yet, i don't did think we? so because i it's they're usually on my phone um uh that's I fine i don't think i'm on them as a problem i gotta get on those groups still um that's okay next time they'll catch up with us we'll we'll uh we're still doing fairly fine you you know. switch spots real quick i'll share on mine yeah, yeah, man. Go ahead and log out of my thing real quick. Right. Chill. We're doing Jumping a little switcheroo guys. here, guys. Doing a little switcheroo. Right. We're doing the side switch so that they know where we're at. And it's like, but yeah, I mean, theoretically, it's kind of like, okay, so Kylo Ren. How powerful do you guys assume he is? Seriously. All right, so on a I, scale, let's, let's a make scale a little from like Vader down all the way to like child Anakin. How powerful do you think he is? Which child Anakin will be one, and then Vader will be ten. Like, where do you think he stands? I think he's about a smooth seven or eight. To be I'm honest, gonna, I'm, I'm going to push the six or seven, but that's just because of my, I don't, like, the whole, and here's how, all right, you know, I'll, I'll do the seven or eight, because, and this is the thing people forget, that not only was Kylo Ren struck by a blaster bolt, he was struck by Chewbacca's crossbow blaster bolt, which, which is shown is to throw people way, across the room yeah, and shit. Way more powerful. Like, that thing is shown to, like, break down doors and stuff, I think, like, I mean, that that thing is no joke. Break down. Like, doors, I've never even seen anybody else use kill. Kylo is probably Legion equivalent to Episode 2 Annie. Uh, uh, maybe even a little more powerful. I don't know. I'd say, I don't, I don't know. Because Anakin in Episode 2 was using the Force to an extent in fighting that we still don't see Kylo May use. May the Force be with you as well, Annie. Thank you. Good to see hey, you, thank man. you, cuz. I'll have to see you since I'm back in town. Hit me up uh, whenever you're free. Or when it, when you have a game, cuz. Nope. I don't know. I, like I said, I like Kylo, but I don't know about the episode two because Anakin lost that fight for the same reasons. He lost to Dooku pretty easily. Well, he, but he lost for the same reasons he loses to Obi, Obi, Obi in Wan. episode three. He just he, overconfidence. Overconfidence. Is always yep, Anakin's just mentally, thing. Until he becomes Vader, that is always his biggest weakness. Mm-hmm. Not his actual power. I mean, he's shown. To go toe to toe with most people with little trouble, and that's why I think we need a Vader anthology. That right there, we need to see like the that, thing is, especially after change. reading the the Vader books. If you guys haven't <sighs> read the Vader comic books, current God. or past Vader comic books, they're so you don't know good. that Vader never cares about the Emperor after the original death of Padme. He literally hates the shit out of him from that point on. Like he he does he's not an idiot. Like Anakin's not stupid. He just. Realize, he realizes he made a mistake and that the only way to fix it was to beat the Emperor, which is why the, the even the theory being in episode 6 that he lets Luke beat him. Beat him, yeah. And even then, like, 
After that, Luke doesn't beat Emperor Palpatine and could not beat Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Only Vader could. Only Vader's Vader. Like, this goddamn kid. Guy can't do anything right. Ugh. Like, I'll do it, damn. He's completely in episode two, Annie, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Uh, I would like to hear a little bit more about that, Susie, because I, I think, I think power-wise, he's a little bit more sure of himself in terms of, like, his force abilities and stuff, so I think he may be a little bit more powerful. I think he's actually more along the lines of maybe a little bit less powerful than episode three, Annie, which that's actually a huge gap between those two. Oh, well, episode two and and episode three, Annie, are huge huge differences. Huge differences. Even the difference between... So, like, once Anakin is it beca- trapped in the suit, his force power increases exponentially, supposedly. Yeah. To the point that Vader does some things with the force that you don't see most other people do. He's been shown to use and run his entire body with just the force. Oh, yeah. He's been able to do that. He's able to control his own power armor and suit to make him even f- have faster reflexes, be faster in battle. You know, yeah. things that he didn't have to do when he was in his, you know, regular human skin. But he's able to control his robotic suit. He's able to do so many more feats well, with seen, his force powers. So I think we've seen in the comics he blocks blaster rays. Not blaster rays, but blaster, blaster rays, from rays from ships. From huge ships, yeah. From gunships. From, from wing fighters. And like, so we <laughs> see that. wings and stuff. We see that a lot. And I, I'm a personal big Vader fan, so I always pick... Not to say Vader is the strongest... Force user, or even the strongest Sith, because he's not. He's probably not even top five, in my opinion. There's no, some. I mean, very if you go extended universe, legend, yeah, legends, legends, yeah, legends is full he, of people that He might that be in the top twenty in that point, but like, oh man, I'm saying Kylo from the movie. Is that what you're? Yes, we are. Yeah, we're and, and we're Kylo and and I can kind of get that. Like I said, I like the episode two comparison. I'm not sure. It, like I said, the problem being that everything we've seen from Kylo is jaded in one way or another. Yeah, it is. We, or or unreferenceable. For example, they always use the stopping of the the, the uh, plasma bolt to say, "Hey, the, he stopped the plasma bolt, so he's so strong." Yeah, and it's for like, two things. All right, we don't know how much energy it really stop takes to stop light because theoretically, exactly. light is lighter than. Anything, the mass and propellant force would be the big stopping point, but technically you could stop light with a refraction or a capture thing. And my whole thing about that is it seems like, to be honest, any normal Jedi or Sith would from the original it. trilogies could just would just block it because there's no point. They're right. like, why even use my force? Why waste my time when I can right. all my force power? Well, it's, and that's a, little, the great one too. And this is why you have to compare Welcome Vader. Back, Andrew. So to compare Vader to, so let's even to for current standards in the current Vader comics, Vader is shown as fighting his Episode Three self. Yep, he's like and, and, and he in a beats battle the with jack crap out. It that was not even yeah. a contest. <laughs> it was like three strokes and then death. death. Yep, it was and like he literally killed Anakin. Like he yeah, said, he killed. He's like he killed I him. killed Anakin. He's dead. Oh man, well, uh, my phone died. I'm back. Hey, thank you, back Andrew. I was saying Kylo from. Then yes, he's clearly more advanced than episode one, but not as good as episode three. I, I'd agree. To- very agree. comparable to episode two, Susie. Guys, welcome to the room. Yep, We're up thank to you, about everybody. 19. 19. Hey, hey, thank thanks, you, guys. guys. Thank 21 now. 21. Wow. Thanks for coming in, everyone. Um, we're kind of just chiming right now about uh, Kylo Ren's power. We want to know about... Oh, give us a shout out. Oh, thank oh, you, guys. Hey, thank you, guys. Also, some, uh, we forgot. So, someone asked uh, earlier... Thank you for sharing so much for the uh, Star Wars addiction. I am addiction. addicted to Star Wars, yep. by the I, way. Give that Thank a shout so out. Much. Check out that uh, group, I believe is what it is. Yeah, yes, we'll be group. sure to share them as well afterward once we're done with the cast. We'll yeah. go ahead and give them a share. But yeah, I am addicted to Star Wars. From Guy Cabrera. Amazing yeah, thank you so Star much. Wars and uh, for anybody, so I think someone earlier asked how to contact us. If you message the Comic Convos page or comment in the comments yeah, during live, thing, we we very much try to stay up on those comments. Uh, thank you once again, Guy, and thank you everybody from I Am Addicted to Star Wars yeah, for thanks coming for over. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, uh, we're, we're give us some happy opinions. To have like, you. hey, we love you guys. We love you guys too. too. Maybe thank a little advanced so skills. Like I said, the problem being, we don't know Cairo Ren's full skill set. I feel like we haven't been shown. The extent of his abilities, no. we've been shown either a shadow, and so we can only go off of what we've what seen. We've seen. And, and, and so, that's the same with Ray. Right. It's kind of like, where do both of these characters sit? And hey, that's the you. best thing. Oh, thank you so much, Guy. And that's the best thing about this, right? About this, ep- the, the second episode. We kind of knew between two, and I'll say between uh, Star Wars episode four and five, 
Luke didn't really get that much progress. N no, between four and five, it was it really felt like more of a well. And here's the reason: why did Luke get no progress between four and five? Obi oh, yeah, no master. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. It's a tragic scene, <laughs> but it's it's true. It's like all right, there was little to no progression from Luke's skills in in episode four to episode five. Realistically, the training with Yoda was the entirety. Of Luke's, Luke's skill training, set. period. Not truthfully, because obviously there's... If oh, you well, yeah, read other comics and books and, and stuff, and there's stuff. training in between this that he goes on. There's fighting. He goes to... Uh, what planet does he go to during Vader Down? Coruscant? Ooh, it wasn't Coruscant, no, was it? No, it wasn't. It was another old Jedi temple city that he visits. Some say Han was Force-sensitive, so coupling Han with the Skywalker could give way for a potent mix And I actually, actually, Andrew, you just reminded me, in Legends, he is Force-sensitive. He is. He is. He's able to pick up a lightsaber. He's able to do simple, like, Force pushes and stuff. But that's all been eliminated, of course. <laughs> right. Well, we, as far as we know, the other thing, and we've, we've talked about why we like the Han Solo Ray thing for the engineering thing, that would make a really cool Han, someone, we talked about Han, someone else out there not that is not Princess Leia. Exactly. Uh, or even just the illegitimate, you know, daughter that they don't want Kylo finding because mm -hmm. he kills everyone, you know, if he did the Order 66. Let's Unlike see. the EU, Skywalker was a Grandmaster in abilities far greater than Kylo. Mm. I could agree with that, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, you guys. I know you're having conversations right now about Star Wars. What are your guys' thoughts? The Defenders, Defenders trailer, trailer was awesome. awesome. Jose, we loved everything. Favorite everything part of the trailer? Was... Oh, favorite part? Uh, Probably like, I am the immortal Iron Fist. You what? <laughs> <laughs> I like the one right before the punch is my favorite because oh, no so one awesome. else can punch <laughs> Luke Cage like that. <laughs> Why can't I punch you? What's that glowing fist? What dink? <laughs> dink. <laughs> it's like you actually see Luke Cage's face move. That's the thing. Right? <laughs> he successfully navigated an asteroid field. True. Uh, oh, I can't wow. wait to see the epic showdown between Rey and Kylo. It is an inevitable showdown. Although I think the Kylo Luke showdown's going to be the, there first. Oh, get our shit together. Shit what do we together. do? That was amazing. Yeah, it wasn't. Oh, no, in the oh, trailer. Get your shit get your together. Shit together. And he looks straight at Danny, too. I'm like, oh my goodness. Is that a hint? He's I just looking like, straight at Danny. He's we like, get your shit together. We would, <laughs> we, we, we'd make a great team. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> it was awesome in every way. It's just like, Jessica Jones, I'm your lawyer. It's like, Jessica Jones, who are you? Your lawyer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your lawyer. Your like, attorney. Oh, my God. It was great. Uh, back oh, to the Star Wars right. thing. We've got tons of Star Wars fans. We don't want to get too off track, per se. It was amazing, and we will probably cover that next, next week, week with the yeah. Guardians. Next week will be a Guardians episode. By the way, guys, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 comes out tonight. Yeah, like Later I said, I'm night. thinking more and more going seeing it with you. Yeah, Honestly, man. It's, a little, it's a little chunk into my check, but hey, come on by. Whatever you are, where do you guys think the paper books will make room for in the next chapter of the Star Wars Legacy? Uh, actually, you I, can probably answer that because I don't read a lot of the chapters. I've books, read the, I've read a lot of them. I haven't read any of the new ones, and there's only a couple out as far as I know. Not not a couple as in literally a couple, but not nearly as many as was in as, the EU universe, yeah. which was. Dozens and dozens of books, people. No one could have read them all without seriously trying to read yeah, them all. So um, I think... The, but my problem is, and this is like the Disney thing, is without the free reign that the EU universe had... Uh, and the was EU cool. was mostly a lot of, you know, a lot of other people contributing to the EU. I saw a screener and it was amazing. Oh, oh lucky man. you guy. You guys <laughs> are lucky. No, it's sorry for the spoilers, no. everybody. Oh, man. In, In the, the teaser, teaser trailer... trailer I think we're still talking Defenders. We don't know how long our delay is still. Oh, man. We're I will say that... Okay, another one of my favorites, diverging one more time to Defenders, is when they're at the very last part of the trailer and Danny's just like, you're an indestructible guy, you're a blind ninja, and you're whatever you are. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks for that. It was like, uh, the paper books in the teaser trailer. Oh! Oh! Not sure. Yeah, the books they were showing in the the Fort Jedi trailer mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, I, I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Honestly, probably Jedi script, scripts I guess. and stuff, or maybe Sith. It, it would have to be because I mean, it almost seems like Luke stumbled upon something when he was like at that temple. There's Sorry, no way he could come to this conclusion just on his own because he was trying to build a new Jedi order. Right. And that's what he he would have had to. EU. Right. And that's what we're yeah. And that's what we're seeing. A lot of his kind of references back to the EU in this. Not necessarily a hardline following, but a lot of references back, back to, to... All right, we like the idea that 
Leia and Han stay together and have Kylo, mm-hmm. and and even if Kylo is not the same as Kanos, he still does evil. And right, has, right, and it's very se- we've never seen Peter. <coughs> Oh, yeah. wow. Right. Now you, wow. Wow. And, and this would be a great time, like we said, to talk about Tales <coughs> of the Jedi and the origination of, in the EU, that was the, one of the greatest parts about oh, EU, Andrew, was the, the history point. of the Jedi. Yeah, that it's, is... It's kind of like, where where does this all fall? And what place in the timeline are we exactly in? Because exactly. it's like, we, we have, technically, you know, the, the movies are still canon, but remember, Legends is not. We could be in a completely, totally different place in the timeline. It's thir- in a, what is well, it, like 20, 30 years after the end of... Yeah, six? it's probably 20... Well, it's got to be at least 20 years for Avril right. Kylo and Rey. Right, with Kylo and Rey. Yeah. Uh, and wait, is Kylo 29? Maybe not, but I mean, he has to be at least 20, right? No, I thought he was like 29, bro. Maybe he is, so then it's 30. Like but you make a good point, Andrew, in that... We've never seen it because we're such a future-based thing, so we don't know when that's coming from. Alternate... Oh, I see what... You, dang it. Alternative don't ruin it for me, Susie! I'm gonna go watch it! Don't ruin it! Hi, Gustavo. Hey, Gustavo. Good to see you, man. La, 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 Susie. I'm not listening. <laughs> Eyes covered. Seriously. Uh, damn it, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to see that because, as we've discussed, and I will say that personally... Especially as the comic fan that I am, if you have not read the EU extended Tales of the Jedi, read you have that's to. just that. And I, I will say that's a, the one that you just have to go through. I mean, there's every so single one of good. the Tales of the Jedi stories. Every Amazing. single one. It, not only that, but they kind of set the scene for the rest of the entire universe. Like they did such a good job of creating a beginning point. And it, I think universe. those ones are where they could possibly go next with the movies. Right, they right. They could easily do, like, a prequel trilogy before the prequel trilogy, like some, you know, Old Republic stuff. Or right. they could even make it a show. Right. Because the Tales of Jedi is what? Ooh, like, Ten, six, maybe. seven, uh, Maybe. Ten? May, no, I'm thinking Whoa. of, I'm thinking of Man, uh, some of the... Weird. I thought I'm, it was about I, six or seven. It, it's about six old. or seven, but I'm thinking of the actual paperbacks as well. Oh, yeah. As opposed well, to just the comics. The comics, though, there's Tales if of the talking, Jedi. If you're talking comics Four and Storm. paperbacks, we're thinking Thank about you, Susie. 12 to 13. Split. Yeah. Total. Probably for the and Tales. The Tales of the Jedi are amazing. Like I said, you guys have to try and see them. Uh, still saying Old Republic needs major movies as well. As well. As I don't know about both. I, I, I Any, would Anything that gets taken to too many mediums Yeah, I would, I, would, I would aim to say that the um, Old Republic... Needs to only be a TV show because think about all this, all the okay. stuff we have in the Old Republic. Like we have these seven comic stories. We have three or four book or five or six books actually. It's a lot, uh, what three or four games with a with their own story. It's like I feel like That's there's the thing, so there's, much lore the, the there. Movies you would, have to, yeah, I feel like the movies would limit that. Like, yeah. it needs to be done as a series, kind of like Game of Thrones or. Uh, I mean, look at Clone Wars. It got Clone what Wars. six seasons. Yeah, Clone Wars, even Rebels. Like it, doing it like that allows for the because if you do it in a movie, what, then you you're got gonna, like six nine hours in total to yeah. Tell the even whole if story you do all three of them, of yeah, and and even with that, like they said, the format of movies. It, it's cool still, but not for that kind of long-winded, huge, huge. thousands of years yeah. stories. You know, hi uh, Sarah, how's What's it up, going? Sarah? Good Thank to you see you. Thanks in. for coming. Never mind the old Republic, but the old Republic <laughs> is great. It's amazing. The new rebellion needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Too much material. I, I want think to the old Republic. Republic is like probably the best of the comics in the EU period. To be honest, if we take out the movie stuff and we take out the stuff that's still canon. I really like it. It's really good. Like I said, my problem is I love the Tales of the Jedi as the starting point because Mm -hmm. it's all so wrapped up. It is. The Tales of the Jedi, Force Storm, Tales of the Jedi, uh, what is it, the the, the original Sith Wars. Yeah, the Sith Wars. There's there's just so much Lord of the Rings style filmography for Old Republic. Now it's too much. I would be down for that in a show style. Like, like I said, it's just too but, much. Even like, think about movies. it. The shows themselves would even need to be like about 40 minutes a piece. My other thing is thinking of what movies have had a movie and a TV show that are good. I don't. I can't think of many. Good point. I so mean, and and I mean zero, literally. pretty much. Yeah. You have the Lion Not King, direct. which had a goofy spinoff show, and, and that's have, animated. So yeah. I would I would take and to say that's, that's not a live action. You can't movie. even count. So oh, maybe oh, if it's hey man, animated. Clone Wars. Yeah, if it's animated, 
Clone we, Wars we Two, though, we spun off into a animated series, series. An animated series. not oh. into a. And it was an animated movie. The other thing I will, the other thing I will say about that yeah. is, and like I said, even then, so much material. I just I love it all, all too much. I guess. I understand, Andrew. I mean, I, like, like I said, there's so much, but I just think that the movie would detract <coughs> from what the series could do for it. I think the TV series <coughs> itself would give allow it the option. You could even do it and set it like and the, the thing I love about that kind of the old republic and the set stories is now you can say I have all this story mm-hmm. now I can chop it up into seasons. Now yeah, exactly. I can chop season it up into four storm. Bam. Bam. Like, you there have you go. Every what? book is a season. That would be awesome. Like Game of Thrones. Hello friends, may the fourth be with you. You say Tyler, Tyler. Thank you. Welcome Good to the to cast see again. You, man. Everyone who's coming in uh we want to keep talking about a <laughs> greedy. <laughs> we want to keep on the on the um the topic of Star Wars. So we, we all agree, Old Republic does need to have some media. What would you guys think about them doing some more of the video games? What's that guy's been missing? Doing, doing a little bit more time in. I think the video games could and should be done to an extent. I mean, like, hey, man, I'm always down for a new Star Wars game. I, the, I mean, and let's, right. let's admit, the, the next one coming out looks amazing. Get oh, yeah. The, well, because two? they fixed all the problems for the original, because the Battlefield 1 was not that great. Battlefront <laughs> 1 didn't have a story or mode. Front, or uh, or uh, you, or <laughs> multi tril- multi era. It wasn't multi era. There was a ton of problems. No, it was, it was only 4, 5, and 6. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys Again, so like we much. said, a guy for helping us. Yeah, out. Assassin Creed meet Old Republic. That would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe going around, like, because uh, then you could have Star Killer. Yep. As as you know, going around taking out Jedi, taking out. Although that's kind of what Maybe he was hit doing. Darth in the Bane, yeah, Tyler, Ooh, that'd be awesome. Ooh, Darth Bane. All right, let's let's ask this question to all of the fans, both extended universe and, and now canon. Who is your favorite Jedi, and who is your favorite Sith? Oh man, it's hard to say that, man. Because, like, okay, can we, let's split it up even. Let's say, okay, who is your favorite canon Jedi and who's your favorite EU Jedi? Because whew, there's a lot of EU Jedi. Now. That's why I'm saying it. It's like, that's why <laughs> it's, it's like, both because then, you have to, then you're forced to make the comparison to the But it's kind of like, it's like you can it have is, a is. set of one or the other. Because it's like, we, if you, if we you can say, do both. We'll, we'll do that one. That way you can, we have more options. And we yeah, can get exactly, more response. exactly. And like I said, Darth Jedi are lame. Bane sits. is the man. Bane is great. Bane is awesome. I mean, Yoda all the way. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, nice. Oh, cool. Thank you for the invite, uh, yeah, guy. Thanks, guy. I, I really uh, appreciate it. Oh, I w- thank you. Seriously. Uh, that's super. Oh, yeah. This is yours. Yep. <laughs> I, I also forgot that, but. Uh, no appreciate question, the Yoda's invites, great. guy. Thank I, you so much. I man. will say that. Uh, well, if I, if I had to go canon, <coughs> it would obviously be Luke right now. Well, I know it's probably hard. Yoda. I My mean, favorite canon honest, Jedi canon. is probably still Anakin Episode 2. You say that, huh? It's crazy. I was telling Susie that, and I was just kidding with her, and she's like, oh, that's a terrible choice, blah, blah, she's blah. Gonna be like, you know why Anakin is my favorite Jedi, uh, number two, is because, in my opinion, at, at that point, Anakin is everything a Jedi should be. And he's still not good enough. And he's, But he's still not good enough. And he's really not. For the, the console... Still, it still doesn't really believe in him. But they even, still think right. he's gonna turn to the dark side. But even that, but like, and, it, and when I say good <laughs> enough to be a Jedi, I mean even more worthy than the Council because yeah. he understands that love and life and, and all these other things and even need to be brought into right. the Jedi. Order. Uh, look, so he's like, Axel, I really think I need more than a few minutes to fight myself on that answer. That's all right. Take your time. Raven is Riven is awesome. Darth Riven. What the actual f? <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi because of the high nice, ground. High yes. ground. <laughs> uh, Obi Wan is actually oh man. He almost takes my my spot. For my, the joke. reason Obi Wan doesn't take my spot is because he failed his pupil. He did uh, as much as you want to say. Like he did he not failed, back uh, up Anakin. So did Anakin. I mean, he did, but it's the two way street. So and what bad. I mean is that Obi Wan never defends him to the council, never helps him and backs him up in his Boy. things, never uh, takes the time to tell him to. Because Qui Gon Jinn was almost the same. It was almost a actually. Great can Jedi. I change my answer? Can Qui-Gon? I change my answer? Qui Gon. You know what? My answer. Qui Gon is the perfect. You want to know Jedi. who my answer is? Actually, Ahsoka Tano. And the reason why I say that is because she actually left the Jedi Order, knowing that it was wrong. And her and Anakin both had those feelings, but she still disobeyed her master to go for her gut feeling that the Jedi Council was wrong. Do you my believe that? Sith Obi is was actually a Sith. 
Uh, I don't no, think so. No. Not, at all. not at all. I think that's no, totally he's BS. way too good. I said there's no good evidence for that. All the theories are total bullcrap. Exactly. So. But that uh, is my favorite Sith that. is totally Kylo. My favorite Sith is probably Vader. If we say canon, he is definitely early unidentifiable, unidentifiable gray Jedi. But because of that, he's well. Still... They even said it in the film. They said he's like a gray Jedi. He's probably what's most like a gray Jedi. They do. And it's I very it much. It's, it's very it's much what he is, and that's why I pick him because that is, in my opinion, the perfect Jedi. And that's the what perfect Ahsoka mix Kano of Sith. is as well. And it's very hard to get to that, and it, and Qui- like I said, Qui Gon is such. He, the, the, and the, you go, Liam. Have, have you caught up on uh, Rebels? Uh uh-uh, uh There's oh, so man, much. The, <clears throat> so Ahsoka Tano and Vader end up meeting up. Oh wow! Uh, and she, he's like, that's not. They end up getting to this point in the battle where she's like, I'm not gonna leave you, Master. And Vader actually references a Jedi, and he's like, that's not the Jedi way. And she's like, I'm not a Jedi. She legit says, like, I'm not a Jedi, but I'm not going to leave you. So these are these characters. You have these characters that are in between that do rope emotion and compassion into the Jedi way. Oh, and many. that's what the Jedi should be. They well, should they, be and, we talk about, and that's why we talked about the original Jedi. I was just joking. My fave Sith is Vader by far. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you were joking of, about the Kylo thing. Me but, too. Yeah. Um, all right, so my favorite movie Sith is Gotta be Vader still. Yeah, absolutely. He and, does. And can we even say that Kylo is a Sith? I mean, Knights of Ren and all that. I mean, I will agree he's that a he's dark a dark side Sith. user. Because the Knights of Ren are not Sith. Yeah. But we don't know where confirmed. his. We, but we don't know where they're coming from yet. So he could be. Very true. Very the true. Count was a badass. Count Dooku, not bad. Jar Jar, favorite canon Sith Lord <laughs> besides Vader. <laughs> Yeah. Jar Jar. Best Sith That's Lord. Awesome. <laughs> that is the best. However, Sean Penn, pal, is pretty awesome. Now, now here's the question. Non-canon, who is your favorite Jedi? Because that is a harder question. It's a bigger selection. Oh, man, I'm still laughing at the I know. Jar Jar. <laughs> Remember, he was the Sith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> for Sith, um, there are a couple of Sith I really like in the EU. There's Actually, so I really many. like Revan. Um, I love Darth Bane. Bane's great. Um, psh, you can even trace back tons and tons. They're of pretty much. Uh, it's like wow. I, like I said, I, I hate it because the both of my choices are once again from Tales of the Jedi, and they're basically in the same story uh, on the same lines. They're t- well, no, he's it's hard. There's so many great. You know what? Sweet Actually, Jedi, I really like non, and he's canon too, but it's only his non-canon stuff that makes him my favorite. <coughs> is Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Because, in my opinion, Darth oh, Maul... Oh, his non canon stuff yeah. is Awesome. The non-canon Darth Maul stuff and the new Darth Maul comic that is canon show his that... His freaking... Th- that's what I'm saying. World. He is the Sith, in my opinion. No one else is as dark and, and hateful, hateful and... Wrathful and Count was clumsy and incompetent Jedi. with a Hail droid Hydra. army that had special <laughs> needs. Oh, God, Hell Hydra. Uh, <laughs> ever... No. <laughs> <laughs> Hydra Cap needs to die and he burn really in flames. Does. I'm so... Honestly, I'll... Hydra Cap, Unworthy Thor, they can all fucking go away from me. I'm just done with Marvel right now until they fix that problem They need to up. fix some shit. That, that's not... Andrew, nice. don't you talk shit about my hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that boy, that was me feisty. Good. Be feisty. Right? Be feisty. Be feisty. Um, and so, well, my, my favorite Sith is Maul because of that, because... He, like you said, he embraces the dark side to its essence to the point that he doesn't care about oh, winning the fight. He just wants to he just kill wants to Jedi. Kill just Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Jedi specifically. <laughs> he yeah. said it in the in his comic. He's like, I just want to kill the Jedi already. I could argue Star Wars all day, day all damn day. Yeah, what about but... Power Rangers? Awesome. Go check it out. It was great. Pretty good. Um, I liked it. Dude. Backing up to Darth Maul, though, like, there's a page in the com- in his new comic book where he's like, I'm ready to kill the Jedi right now. He's like, he, he's almost like uh, Dude, foaming he, at the mouth. No, he's he like, is. I'm he, ready to kill the Jedi right He's 100%. Right he's even now. talking. The dark side will always be the best. Yes. <laughs> nice. Darth Maul is the mofo, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah and, the thing about, and the thing about it is that Darth Sidious was down to wait. He's like, we gotta wait for the perfect time. Yeah, he was, and that's why. Six. And that's why I think Sidious doesn't follow. follow the, the, he the is Sith very God. much along the kind of. Med- it is dark and it is death because of the long running evil, but it's not the compulsion 
the letting go and giving into your hate, hate and, and giving in wrath that is not so no, as much as as much thing. as Palpatine preaches that he does that to control people control Vader control Luke he's a manipulator has the most shit, yes, and that's he, his thing. He's a manipulator. Whereas Maul, like I said, Maul was always, even if he wasn't the most skilled Jedi, and he wasn't, he's been he's beaten by Obi Wan twice, twice, easily, twi- twice, not easily the first time, but the second time, easily, it was pretty easily. Time. Granted, Maul had Robo legs then, yeah, so he was at a disadvantage, but he'd already lost, and he and he lost to Sidious quite a few times, and I don't he, know. He's, he did, but he never really fights Sidious because uh, it's the check out the um, uh, Clone Wars actually. Oh yeah, yeah. he uh, gets really dusted up by Sidious. Yeah. Uh, him and his brother actually, they both go. At, they both are uh, at their lair, and Sidious goes and finds them. Oh wow! Yeah, he tracks them down and messes, wrecks both of them, kills his brother, <clears throat> and wrecks the crap out of them all. I'll have to check that one. I haven't because because I still haven't seen all the Clone Wars because it's such a it's huge so thing. Huge. And that's the thing is like, why can't they do that with the Old Republic? Right. Watch Rogue hate One. It. Don't hate me for this, but I actually liked. It, it's fine. He's not a bad Kylo character. Kylo Ren's not a bad character. I, I want to like see Kylo more storylines with the Shadow Troopers and <laughs> Death Troopers in the battle against the Rebellion from the Empire perspective. Get down on the front lines and the nitty gritty. I'd like that. It would be reminiscent of another Rogue One. Maybe and then, having and, it and if we went that if we went that route with the Star Wars movies, I'd be cool with it. I'd be down to see some more war stories. Um, so when so I watch when I watch Rogue One, what a damn epic movie. Yeah, it is. I it's mean, very. It's, I really like. I like Rogue and that One might more be than the, Seven. That, that might be the distinction too. It might be like maybe we should just keep that one, just because that's you know so special. It, it was, and, and even during the opening scenes of Rogue One, it's just Rogue One. It's not Star Wars. Rogue right? They one. said it's they don't have the role Rogue or one, anything. An anthology film. Yep, that's literally what it was. It was I think so it would be cool special. to have a similar, like you said, another anthology done slightly different. Not uh, like you said from the Death Trooper and Storm and. Uh, Shadow oh, yeah. Trooper Andrew one. Saying that. <clears throat> I enjoyed Han's death. Uh, that one will get you hated. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't right. you I didn't. That. I didn't like that death. <laughs> was it? Wasn't? Uh, I saw it coming, but it was not oh, as yeah, impactful. Because Harrison Ford or... was like, "I'm done after this." So, oh, like, I mean, yeah, they had to get rid of him. It was a damn good filler. <laughs> yes, it was damn good filler, <laughs> Susie. But yeah, sad face. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you will get hated for that. No one liked Han's death. Really, realistically, the people who do. Are cold and dead inside. <laughs> no, just kidding. I, I know, Ever. Yeah, we, we're just messing we're with just you. Playing. I think it's hard to play a young Sith in general for movies. They aren't the dark, brooding Elder Sith. Uh, I, I think it depends. It for really example, does. like I said, Maul was always young. And, 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 and kind of in a prime sense. Right. You know, he was always Even like episode that. 3 Anakin. Yeah. Now, I will agree that your Sith need to be damaged. I'm a bit dark inside. Me too. Hey, we all are. Get a ever. kick in Ewok if you saw it. Yeah, you, that's all right. I would kick almost as bad as Logan's. I don't think it was that bad. It was bad, but it, it wasn't it was, as bad as Logan's. That one was just That one just crushed my heart, dude. Crushed I, it. I think it might... Oh, it's, it's intense. It was Literally, good. I think I think some imaginary hands just came and took my heart and crushed it up into a ball and oh, yeah. threw it out. Like I said, it was like, we're girls, we're, we're girls cry, we're men, boys cry. Where everyone cries. Right? Exactly. <laughs> But Maul was trained in seclusion. He is, but he doesn't practice it as often as he should. He's often he talks and about. And if it. you read the comics, he does not practice that. No, at he all. he does it for as long as he needs to, and then he murders everybody, and that's his seclusion. He just wants to kill Jedi. Like that's his. That's his. Oh well, no, he was trained in seclusion. He was trained in seclusion <laughs> by the Night Sisters uh, of, on Dothamir. Oh, okay. So gotcha. he was, and then brought up. Uh, <coughs> Logan's death was the worst death I've ever seen. It's pretty freaking bad. It's horrible. Audie, how could you bring that back up? Oh. But I just read the book. Oh, okay. Um, on top of that, though, uh, I didn't I didn't get to my favorite Jedi from the Extended Universe. You guys got to check out the Extended Universe. Oh, this, that's amazing. The, my favorite... I, think I know what you were going to say. Go ahead. Uh, Naomi Sunrider. Yep. <laughs> Naomi <laughs> Sunrider is, is awesome. forever oh. my favorite Jedi because Gosh. she has the tragic tale... <clears throat> Naomi wasn't a Jedi, and her husband was a Jedi in training until, well, back then, I think Jedi could still, could have, still children. have children. still yeah, have children and families and, and so attachment. He, so uh, sh- her husband was a Jedi, and her, she had her son, and uh, what ended up happening is uh, on his way to get more training, her husband dies, died, yep. uh, attacked by a poisonous <clears throat> blah, 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 and is killed before he fully masters his training. Hunting Baxter in an Anchorman, yes. On Heartbreaking, he says, have you ever cried as a man for film or TV? No, not on TV. 
uh, film, film a couple definitely. times. Logan, no com- I just read the book, no comics Sorry. for me. The book's great. Check out the comics. The comics have some <laughs> stories that the books don't get to. And vice versa. If, if anybody's checked out the comics, not the books, check, check out, out the books. books. There's some great, like, all of the best Boba Fett stories are in the books, not the comics. Trust I me. I heard. Trust me. Verhan's death was expected, just not like that. How do you kill off a legend with such dis- I, dis- I expected it like that <laughs> because of the movie. Like I said, I was never... It didn't surprise it me, so it up, didn't. And hurt. as soon as they were on the bridge, I was like, "Han's dead." I, like I said, the, I the like, beginning of happening. the movie, the beginning of the movie, I knew that s- someone had probably to die, someone older. So then, when the, when the whole Kylo Han. and Han and Han thing showed up, I knew from that moment not only was Han gonna die, but that Kylo was, was gonna, gonna kill him. him. Yeah. Uh, oh but, yeah. But I, I I agree that it's kind of, but it was just. It was such Ever. an unclimactic scene. Stop. With a saber Stop. in his chest. And saber in his chest. Oh, yeah, that so is sad. one damn wine. <laughs> it's okay. Keep drinking wine, Susie. Everyone loves wine. Han knew he had to. I think Han was... I think in that moment, I feel Han was playing the playing role the of role. a father. Yeah. You that, know, he was kind of just like trying to get his son back. You know, yeah, he was making the gamble. I mean, and, and when he did kill him, I don't think he was so much as like... Disappointed. So, I think he was more like you still have a chance, son. Like if this is what you have to do to make yourself happy, I'm your father. Right. Yeah. It, then infiltrate the Sith to destroy Snoke as the hidden mole. Nope. No. No. All no. right, guys. That Quick just... question. Who do you got? Oh, by the way, favorite Jedi from EU is definitely Sunrise. Sun, she's she's, she's Sunrider. She's awesome. She even. I, is, I mean, she's she's she she, ba- she mastered the art of ancient battle meditation, which makes her basically I didn't know invincible that. Holy on the. Crap. Yeah, so she's basically, her army is basically invincible on the field. That's what wow. the Jedi are, mo- like. They don't use it in the con- the modern one, but in the old ones, they described that one of the skills of the Jedi is being able to influence the battle through the Force by That's awesome. not by analyzing the field. And then directing the force. New fact right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And I like so, her and I like Mara Jade Scar- the, Skywalker. And they, they used to, the Sith had an anti one of that where they would terrify people. They would trick people to be, like they would instill. Scared and fear. Right. Yeah, and, and, still fear and, and similar, them. but it was like battle maneuvering or something. I am excited for the Han Solo movie mostly Me because too. of D- Donald Glover. Or not Donald Danny? Donald no, Glover. Donald Glover. I always, yeah. Just, What's up, Felicia? Good to see you. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> Sorry. Destroying the Sith from it. What's more Sith than destroying the Sith? Uh, I mean, that's Sith, but you don't destroy the Sith. You continue Con- to Sith. Yeah, you continue to put fear and instill fear into people. Like, like I said, the Sith, Sith do. doesn't die as long as darkness lives in the, the universe. Solo movie looks pretty good, though. Um, <clears throat> let's hope that it'll actually be a good detail of his life, though. Squirrel Girl. Ah! I hate She Squirrel has to Girl. have... She has to have luck manipulation. There's the no problem is way. they haven't explained she's it. She's got to so have some bullshit. kind of probability. That's the problem. They haven't. She's got to have some kind of probability. Anything, so I hate her. Until they explain it and give her a reason she can do all these things, I fucking hate her because she's a character with giant plot holes, terrible writing. Sorry, people Susie, are always the like she's hilarious. <laughs> oh, God, I fucking hate her. If you bring up Squirrel Girl, I will destroy it. I mean, all she is is satire. Like, I mean, I, that's that's really it, all it the, is. The problem is satire should be intelligent. It's goofy satire. It's like, uh, 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 this is like satire should be intelligent, make a good point. You collect any Star Wars figures? Uh, I kind of go the Funko route. <coughs> like, we got some balls. I don't, I don't really like to Ooh-wee. do too much of the like expensive figurines, though. You guys collect any? Oh, man. I, uh, I'm i not a figurine guy. I, I started recently doing the uh, Funkos. And, uh, and these are, these are kind of like as far as I go with a lot of the collecting stuff. Like, I don't like to have too many action figures because they can get very expensive. Not only that, co- holding your stuff takes a lot oh, of space. Yeah, like, exactly. y- even just with the tiniest collection. Even the Funkos. Like, sometimes the Funko Towers can just be, wow. Yeah, besides the Funkos, uh, not too much. Um, I, I do get geek boxes mon- monthly, so it depends on what comes in that and all collect those as well. I want that Stormtrooper. <laughs> He's mine. Stormtrooper! <laughs> That's one from episode three, too. I had to ha- get him to shake his head no. You have to go sideways. <laughs> no. 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 Yes. no. Yes, Susie. No. Felicia, if you're still in here, I actually have a question for you. Who was that person that you were hinting about in the Star Wars movies? I thought it was Chewbacca. I wasn't sure, but um, <clears throat> if you're are still like $20 in here, a pop here, or 20 well, uh, Kylo pounds. turned back to the light in The Last Jedi. Uh, 
We don't know. Damn it, Axel. We, we don't know. That's a good question, actually, Axel. Um, I don't see it. I feel like it would be a very un... It, but I just the thing don't about it, it is that it's actually a possibility. I mean, um, anything's a possibility. There's a possibility Yoda will rise from the grave and Luke will right, grow six-inch right. horns and become <laughs> the devil. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm sorry. That was like, theory this, uh, theory that. Andrew, not until episode nine. Mm, very true, because we don't know what's going to happen. This right, time. that's the thing. Why? <laughs> Here's the thing. All right. First of all, that's a climaxer. And not just a movie climaxer. That's a series climaxer, finisher. Oh, right. he's it's totally one of those the things Sith. like... Kylo, you know, come to our side, and then it all. Second of all, just... it'll it it they'll have to re- reconcile the original movie, which is all about basically making him irredeemable. Yeah. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to work he really, really hard. hard to redeem this character who just killed a media icon, not a this not is just a, a character, not just a character, not just a, a character. media a icon. icon. This is time. my mother, my forty year old mother cried when Han Solo died. I cried. Jeez. I know, but I'm saying, th- you yeah, know, right. my, I mean, my mother, who doesn't give a flying fuck about Star Wars, realistically. Oh, that's so look, sad, man. It literally, it's just like, Turn I got Jedi uh, Red Saber 49. Wow, Kylo. good, bro. Uh, yeah. It's being wow. sp- specially Saban. designed. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you, Susie. Return of the Jedi with Anakin. So I'll just Kylo. watch I think the movies so. in the order they came out. Honestly, going to start tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching watch the order they came in the out. order they came out is so actually... So 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Clone Wars, if you like. That one's always pretty optional. Um, and then uh, 7, and then Rogue One. Yep. <clears throat> Honestly, you, you can watch them in different things, but the, the reason you watch them in that is a lot of the movies are better that way. For example, Rogue One's much better as a prequel movie because then it fills in holes... Yeah, and there's like a certain order, there are certain other orders where Rogue One, edited orders now, where Rogue One is actually the the start, is where people A lot of people, well, like that. that's the thing, if you want to run storyline, you know, there's, like, there's too much. It's like, if you want to technically run plot-wise, it would have to be 1, 2, 3, yeah. and then Clone Wars, Rogue One, 4, 5, Don't 6, forget Rebels. 7, oh, Rebels, Rogue well. One, uh, then Well, Rebels. I wasn't even counting TV show. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess Rogue One, then Rebels, and then four, five, six, then seven. Now yep, 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 yep. That sounds about the order if you were going completely chronologically. Oh, ever. Thanks for coming yep, out, man. Thank you so much. We enjoy talking with you yeah. and your darkness. And so come back next. Come back next week, man. We'll, we'll be talking we about Guardians, week. Guardians of the and Galaxy, Defenders, next time. and a ton of other stuff that's not just Star Wars. So, mm-hmm. come on back. Let's see. Watch them. They came out. Watch them the way they came out. That's yeah, the best so way to watch. That's the best way to watch. You watch them like Master Yoda would. Yep. Oh, uh, no, no, not four, five, six, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no that's no, right, that's, that's right, sorry. I thought, I, I don't know why I think of Rogue One as, as four when it's technically 3.5. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right, that is the that is the order, Andrew. Uh, Sai, I will join your page as soon as I have watched the new episode. Right? That, yeah, I, yeah, I, can't I already the, got I the spoilers. Just... Susie, they ruined it for me. Ooh. I'm ten episodes behind and so, I already know. So, real quick, oh, I guess I'll I do plug like in. a... Oh, yeah. I'll get you a plug in. Oh, I have my... Uh, real quick, we'll even ask. I mean, if anybody's watching oh, The Flash, what do you guys think it is? I mean, I think Savitar is actually an alternate universe Barry, but I don't know. I'm not going to spoil I'm not gonna, that, that I'm so not going to spoil too much. There's there's too much going on with that one, man. I got to say, uh, as far as I feel on that, I'm just like, oh, please tell me I brought it. Yeah. Nice. Got the charger out and everything. Dude, look at this monster, though. But yet, I mean, I guess for the people who have... Oh, it's okay. Ever we'll be your friends, man. That's okay. We're your friends, dude. Come we'll, on back next time, and we'll definitely talk some more comics with you. We will definitely. We we love talking with you guys. That's what we're all about. <laughs> we're not gonna discuss Savitar. Don't worry, Susie. We're, we're not, not gonna spoil Savitar. We were just throwing that we're, out. We're definitely second. gonna catch up first, and we're still not gonna spoil Savitar. But we will have spoiler all, videos coming. Yeah, soon. That, I think we may do a spoiler. A spoiler, Savitar video. spoiler session. Kind of just do some small little that too. That's a good spoiler name. Spoiler session. session. Yep. Boom, spoiler session. Common combo, spoiler session. Yeah, we were making an enterprise here. But guys, uh, what would what would actually be your favorite viewing order of Star Wars? Right. I know some people have much different viewing orders well, than just the release and the here's actual the thing, order. Here's the thing. We're t- we're talking original order for what I gave them. My preferred order is not actually the original, the original order. It's no. not mine either. I actually enjoy watching uh, four, five, and six. I would skip one. 
Yeah, I don't watch one. I skip one. I never watch one. <laughs> there's no I, good no, reason to. One. There's, there's and so now little I would even story. throw Rogue One in before 4. To be honest, I, almost, I would start with Rogue One. I almost want to, but I feel like I still like going from the old movies to the movies. I feel like the going from Rogue yeah, One to the I old movies you. back to the new movies throws me a bit. But I do know what you mean. Like the, the It feels right to have the story in the correct order. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, I skip one. Um, I also skip Clone Wars because while there's tons in Clone Wars that is awesome and and nice, there's very little that's actually tied. Tied, not even tied, heavily. but important. Yeah, I you guess know, yeah. it doesn't matter that much. And it's like it, it's almost like then you almost ask the question, what's that important to the? Because you you have two and three, and it's like that's so much in between. Uh, all uh, 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 I'm not usually passionate about stuff, but if y'all. We, we're not going to spoil, we're not, we're spoil not gonna it for spoil. you. We'll, we're going to do specific videos, uh, probably on our YouTube <laughs> channel in here. Uh, but oh. don't, we'll, we'll make sure we don't tag you in that one season. <coughs> oh. uh, and then there's also, actually, I want to give a shout out uh, on the cast to someone. I can't, I can't remember his exact name. I mentioned him in the comment earlier that I posted. Hmm. Uh, oh, excuse me. But he uh, actually corrected us on one of our memes earlier where I had made a mistake and typed uh, in Synapse yep. instead of Silk because I was thinking of the wrong I SA superhero. Mm-hmm. I knew who the character was, just uh, asked him, or sent him in. And it happens. And, things and so uh, I appreciate it. I wanted to say thank you to that guy because uh, you letting us do that keeps us from being wrong. And so when you let me know, I can go and change it Thanks and fix it. Thanks for the fact-checking. Yeah, so sure. we've gone and fixed that. I want you to know that the, the post wasn't deleted because you pointed that out, it was, or be, you know what I mean? It was, but not to hide that. It was deleted so we could correct, correct and it. Be factually and so correct. I want, and I, I was unable to tag the guy. I guess he didn't like the page. He must not have liked the fact. Was fate was Vader's return to the light a gradual thing at the end of Return of the Jedi, or do you think it was one line or event when hit, when him the Emperor and Luke? Were, I don't actually, know if he ever went back to the light I, side. I, here's no my thing ever, about that whole like reversing. He killed Anakin. Like it even so, if you if you read the Marvel comic books, the newest Vader line, he yeah. does away with Anakin. He like, does completely. away with everything that was everything Anakin. that was he, Anakin. He Padme, is Vader. All that he is Vader Gone. now. He, that he he, he self Vader. identifies as this black nothingness, and maybe we'll see more as the comics continue because they're still coming. Which out. Which would be cool. And but, maybe it'll come back gradually. But both. as far as movie and even pre-existent stuff. I never felt like Z- Vader left the Sith side. I just felt like he betrayed. I feel Palpatine. like he went. I feel like he went back to being Anakin. Arrow which... is popping too. I know you guys are crazy about the CW. I really uh, like. I'm back. Someone... I'm actually on Flash catching up. He is. Um, I'm also catching back up on Flash and Supergirl. But I've so far are behind on accurate Arrow. Rather than alternatively factual. Ha ha! I love Canada. Yay! Yay. Oh right, Canada! Um, Our actually, here's, here's what I think about um, Vader at the end of Return of the Jedi. I think that he is like, I'm not a Sith, but he's not going back to being a Jedi. No. I feel like he's back to just being Anakin Skywalker, where he didn't really believe in that Sith, that Jedi Council, but he wasn't bad. He wasn't evil. No, he, I, like he, I said, I would, and that's why I say I never really felt like he returned to light side. And honestly, here's my thing: you know, people are always about repentance. Well, he in was this. a Force ghost, so. Which isn't that a light side ability? I don't think so. I think that's really? just yeah. Because uh, I, well, remember canon wise. Rem- well, speaking to you, canon wise, yes, probably. Uh, as far I don't know as if I, know. It, I don't know if it's ever but really detailed in canon. No, in po- in you e- now there are Sith, Sith that come back all the time. Of, shit, the Sith do it more than the light yeah, side. Exactly, they stay around for thousands of years and kill people. Yeah. Like one, uh, I, can't, re- I can't remember they create what new beings. Like, I mean, like I said, one guy specifically turns to the Sith or the dark side because oh, that Kylo doesn't like us. No, he doesn't want to sit up here. He he falls down much like the real Kylo oh, Ren. <laughs> and he falls down a lot much he's, like he's the real whiny, Kylo. Ren. Just like just like Kylo, just like the real Kylo. Mini Kylo is just like real Kylo. Um, but. Going on that, the Force Ghosts had huge impact. They could kill people. Yeah, uh, oh, on the dark yeah. side, uh, light side obviously never would. But Force Ghosts on the dark side could literally. I can't remember which Jedi it is in the uh, Return of the Jedi tales, or no, the Tales of the Jedi that he goes dark side because they steal his Jedi powers and ha- he has to fight Sith ghosts. That's insane. And Are then he serious? has to use the dark side because he can't use his Jedi powers that or die. And and that's the good thing about the Jedi. They actually use some of those Sith powers. Well, they, they talk about it. In order to Lightning even and... ignite 
the the lightsaber, you have, you have to have, to have, have some balance. dark side. Yeah, energy. you you cannot be all balance. light side. Uh, but that was legend, so it might not be canon anymore. Not uh, sure if you've seen, but the For- Force Unleashed Two is free on Xbox. I played through it, and yeah, that's actually a really good. Game. I I might check that out. I have to go pick up my Xbox. I gave it to someone when I headed out of town, and I have to go pick it up again. Okay, but I'll, loves, I, might try I have to take it Nitro out. Leo, have fun at Guardians of the Galaxy. We'll talk to you later. Yeah, we'll see you later, Susie. Talk to you later, Susie. I think he returned to a Force user status, but not a Jedi. Just as a, exactly. Yes, that, maybe he was even wrong. Jedi. Just, just well, as just as Anakin. Yeah. And, like and, he's like, and, I'm Anakin again, and that's the only part he embraced. He's not a Jedi. He's not. Well, and here's my thing. At some point, for the light side, I feel like, and this is for everything. After you do so <laughs> much, after, after you do too much. Bad shit. Can you really go back to being a Jedi after you right, murdered like, the young really be redeemed? The younglings. Can you? Re- I'm sorry. Like I don't know if you could ever really come back from that. Right. That's just like my personal <laughs> opinion. Uh, and and so we see him, and we have to wonder, um, what that means for the future. Like you said, even the fact we have to wonder what the whole Jedi ghost thing means for the future. Has Luke been communing? With Jedi ghosts since exactly, and then it's like okay, he had like Anakin, how would he have found Obi Wan the... and Yoda at his arsenal if he could communicate with the Force ghosts? Right. Do you know how huge of a repository of information that is on both the light side and, and the, dark the dark side? side. The, that would be in an outrageous amount that not very many people would have ever had access to that many skilled Force users. And it's almost just like what? And and my question is, what made Luke suddenly think the Jedi need to be destroyed? What right. was it that made him realize Maybe that? those papers. Maybe so. Papers, you know what I mean? And that's Scrolls. the other thing why, why I think about the ghost thing. He like said, you know, where does he find this stuff? Because, honestly, Palpatine tried to erase all existence of the Jedi, basically. Mm-hmm. He didn't have enough time, or else I think he would have done it, but... Well, technically, it wasn't him that committed those atrocities with Vader. Actually, Anakin killed the kids the before kids. he was ever Vader, so that's not true. Uh, he, Vader, I, I still think, say was Vader. It the point, was it that point where he ruled him as Darth, Darth Vader? Because I'm pretty sure he now you as Vader, like now, now you are Vader. Darth Vader. And then, well, I guess it did. This, then he killed the children. I thought that's how it went. Or was it he killed the children and then he crowned maybe, him Vader? I thought he crowned him Vader and then he went and killed the children. I was which still, was part of his order of Order Sixty Six. Which I would so. still say that Anakin doesn't die until he loses to did his will, his battle of the. Because if to, you think about it. I it's say definitely... Anakin doesn't die until his fight with Obi Wan, really. Because that's I don't even because say... everyone thinks Vader's uh, the thing. I think of Vader is he, you know, as much as this until he's in the suit. That's Vader, but and, he's Darth. He, and, he tells and even him so, he's Darth Vader and even so, changing point. Darth Vader that doesn't mean he's not Anakin. He's still Anakin Skywalker by whatever name you right. call it's him. Right? It's like he's still. That's not like technically... saying he didn't murder a fucking twenty children. That's not gonna take that uh, away. I give it. I give it to <laughs> Vader that committed the, the atrocity. And he says it, it, it's killing off your old self is not the same as not being that person and not I, being. And I think the only everything. time when he truly wasn't Anakin anymore is when is between that mental battle with him in the comics when he just destroyed. Destroyed everything when he destroyed all of that mental thought of of uh, Anakin. It was like I'm Vader. Even then, I mean, he has the the his love for Luke. Like I don't think he ever gets rid of Anakin. He's never as like I said. That's, I mean, but how not... could you how could you hate your son, bro? Like you, I mean, shit, I know tons of people who hate that's their true. son. Don't even but get it's me like, it's like that. as Anakin though, as a very emotionally power being. Oh man, and it's like it's like he destroyed Anakin, but the moment Luke came back. That woke, that woke everything right. back up. But like I said, and that's why I might even the whole destroying, like I said, the, changing his name to Vader didn't change who he was. That's still Anakin Skywalker who killed all those children. I think Luke has found a completely different version of the Force. Those books he found are over a thousand years old, or he's learned a new truth of the Force. I think he definitely learned more of like that the gray Jedi is like the actual way, the balance is right, the, the actual way. Because the Jedi didn't fix anything either. They, how they, many... they, they hunted Sith! They hunted Sith in the Sith Wars. They went and hunted after Sith. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's a terrible thing. And it's, it's just not, as bad. And it's technically not the will of the Jedi. No. Except for that the Jedi hunt Sith. And, and the original Jedi... Well, and that's the problem. Legends versus current canon makes everything so much harder. It does. It makes everything Where harder to grasp. In? Because with, with the Legends, I could have said, well, maybe those come from... Because the Jedi did use paper. Yep. I remember specifically they used even rock. Scribes and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yep. Um, and was it Ulic Keldrama? I think is the one I'm thinking of. 
that becomes one of the new four Sith after the actual race of the Sith died. That's, that's the thing. The Jedi exterminate an entire race. Not exactly. even it's like, not even a thing. They exterminate a race. Oh, welcome back, Ever. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you for jumping back in. We'll, we'll be live for a little while longer, so. And you say, destroy, like you said, they destroyed an entire race. It's like, holy crap, dude. Like, now, that's that's evil, man. Come the, on. And like you said, maybe to, so don't get me wrong, the Sith have started the original war, but like you said, at the end of those things, the Sith were being hunted down like rats. Like rats. They're <laughs> like, dude, there's like literally a picture of like four Jedi like going into this cave to hunt what they think is the last Sith. Yep. Like no man, they that's had Sith not hunts. Good they literally had Sith hunts named after hunting Sith. It's like no, I mean that's like hunting quail or thing. And at that point, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's <laughs> just as bad. As yeah, the it's Sith like how bad are Jedi? You? It's like how is that any different from Order sixty six? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> and, hey, and thank you, Michael, for joining. And then I guess you also have to. Oh, what's up, Michael? I guess you also have to ask yourself. Going back to canon, mm. what? are they doing in the canon? Are they technically hunting Sith? They never say. The four, I don't know, they always say to watch for the Sith, but like you said, in the movies, they don't talk about the history. They don't. They don't talk about the history almost at all. Even in the, it, like, you see a little more in Clone Wars and Rebels, but really, even then, that's still, about what's happening it, at the time. And that's about what's happening at the time, and, so, and it also makes the Jedi still look good. Feel like a whole new, it is definitely a whole new world side. There's a reason people around the lo- world love Star Wars, and it's not something that you have to watch right away, but I, I do say that it's something everybody should watch. What's up, John Strickland? Welcome to the room, man. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Jedi are terrible and use the Force to trick us into thinking they're the good guys. I mean, honestly, honestly they do that yeah, a lot they sometimes. Do. I've I mean, seen... there have been Jedi where just they mind control. They've changed people's minds. Oh. Um, Obi-Wan has done it a couple times. Like I said, even, even my favorite, and she did it as a last resort, don't get me wrong, but even my favorite uh, Jedi, Naomi Sunrider, it, it's called. It was. It is the person who taught it to her attributed it to being the worst thing you could do to someone who was who was Changing attuned to their the force. Mind. Well, not just that. She, like I said, she had the power to do what was called the force block, where she could entirely block off a person's ability to use, to use or, or sense, sense, sense the, the force. force. It'd be gone from them. Yeah, it would. They, like I said, they would be blind to the force as if they had never been. Ah, oh, Felicia, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, we really enjoy as well. Yeah, we really thank enjoy you so your much comments for sharing and, and uh, everything. Yeah, I mean, and everything. You've been you know, you so helpful. Definitely, the last couple weeks. You know, very helpful. So you, thank you so much. Shout out to Star Wars Discussion Room. Thank yeah, you guys, thank you so, guys much. so much for helping us out. If you could choose through. a side, what would you choose? Ever, I would be a balanced force user. If I could be a great Jedi, I would. Yeah, I'd, I'd I know me and I'm probably a Sith. I'd be a great Jedi because I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm maniacal enough to be a Sith. I think I, I would be the like lighter me. version of a the Sith. But I mean, I, I'm trying to. Attribute and that's the, the thing about the Sith is they have some humane qualities like emotion and compassion and 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 you know and that's Elden. That's the problem. Like if the Jedi's problem is too cold, too sterile, too emotionless, soulless, too Jedi. streamlined. Sith too m- motivated. Too, not motivated, but like too too motivated by their emotions too, and too aggressive. Right. Yes, too yes. emotional, too wrathful sometimes, too, and too irrational, too uh, d- just to an extreme. You know, yeah, as to, extreme. as opposed to a little too little, they go to the extreme, and that's where all of their problems—greed, hunger, lust, etc., h- hate—all that comes from feeling too much. But it's like if you have a balance of the both. Catch you later. Right. If that's where the gray Jedi comes that's, in. And then you end up where it's, although then you oh, end up a sweet spot. it's all the argument. So the gray Jedi that we do have in the extended universe are currently maybe Luke and Qui Gon and Qui Gon didn't last very long. <laughs> although <laughs> Not the, long at all. Although the theory about that one is always that Qui Gon nev- never died but just became one with the force. Yeah, because he was the in the canon universe, he was the first one to come up with the Force Ghost. Technically, we don't know because there hasn't been that much expansion. Right, and even um, then, they flip all the expansions. Like, what's up, Tiffany? And may the Force be with you. And that one's only because I feel like that's a chronological because they never did that again, which I thought was funny. It's like, oh, Qui Gon died. We show him to to show the continuation of from six of how we were doing the Force Ghost, and then we never see him. Then others. never again. It was like, okay, <laughs> we want a hit that we, remind, we never see we remember anyone this. else. We never see. Not anyone. In, I don't think even in Clone Wars or Rebels, even a little bit. And in if the he books, had, if he had learned that from studying in scrolls and stuff, don't you think there would be Jedi masters that could easily communicate to them from eons ago? 
if this is a I think it, it might be, you know, the whole thing, though, of how long do you really stick around before your business is done. You know what yeah, I mean? That's true. Before you just let someone else, you know, take Well, the, even just like, over. all right, you know, 10,000 years later, I don't know any of these people or any of this stuff. Like, I might <laughs> care about the Jedi. Nice. Like, how long till you stop giving a fuck about the Jedi even as a ghost? Right. <laughs> it's like, all right. This shit. I would have to choose dark side. Yeah, a lot of people would, and the problem with the Jedi is just that. They're too formulaic, too strict, not emotional. No love, no, no, love, no, no family, family, no... And all that's order, bullshit. All, all pureness, and all order and all pureness doesn't always doesn't work. Doesn't always work. That's not how it works. You cannot be perfect. You cannot be whole. The yin-yang symbol is the perfect example. There is darkness and light, and there is light in the darkness. Yep. That is exactly. how it There's works. There's a dark circle in the white one. There's a white circle. Well, in I, said that, I love the explanation. Like, this doesn't mean blah, blah, blah. This means this is the darkness. This is the light. This is the light inside the darkness. This, this is the, is the dark darkness inside, inside of, of the light. Yeah. Bam. It's like, it's very simple. And it's like, it's a very hard concept that to mesh together to be that great, great Jedi. But that's what we want to see. And that's why we think we're going with this last yeah, Jedi. Yeah, and hopefully that is the direction with the last Jedi that they're taking that kind of more... Great Jedi, more balanced approach, whether they call it Great Jedi or whatever they have to say about it. Let's just get somewhere where there's more of a common ground between these two sides and there's more of a balance in every single Force user in the, you know, at the end of the day, let's have it so that we're training Force users and not Jedi or Sith. You know what I mean? Training Force users who can assist the galaxy, can help stop Right. Threats. Although we're, we're all always, always, obviously, everyone's here. There's always going to be good sick, at that. and there's always going to be... Well, that's the problem. Is like, righteous, right. And, and that's where we get it, because we do have side Sith users in the main continuity. Mm-hmm. Even in the main, main continuity. I mean, didn't Mace Windu use Force Lightning at some point? Or? No, he had other things. He, he actually does use a form of lightsaber... Uh, fighting style that's, that that's Sith common based. in the Sith face. The, yeah. va- the Vapido uh, style, I, I believe. I, it's... I thought I saw somewhere I was using some Force Lightning. Maybe I'm wrong. He might have used it. I think he's able to, or they they might have mentioned that many people. Actually, they do show him in one comic use Force Lightning. Yeah, I was gonna say he was in a. Co- oh, thanks, Ever. But and it's Thank when he's. Coming, man. They talk about it that he bridges the. He also somewhat bridges the gap between the dark, like light and dark side. He. Lives by light Purple side light codes. Saber. Yes, but it's he lives by dark side codes, or light side codes, but employs dark side, dark techniques, side techniques. Which he's is a more harsh Jedi. Period. Like oh, I mean, he was even always, in his like very even in how he viewed Anakin and like how he treated other Jedi. He's a very very harsh, harsh guy. and strict. Very very, strict very guy. Reason, how, this you know it's very interesting to see that dichotomy between that you know, yeah. and this, to wonder about J- Mace Windu as a great Jedi as if. You know, could he have been? Because we've, you know, even in his stories, because that's where I remember seeing him is from this comic book, actually. Yeah. He uses he's very intense, very rigid. And even in, like, the Anakin Obi-Wan, like, he's very, very strict. Um, and when I it comes to Anakin, him. he's very, very uh, mysterious and very, you know, very um, curious about I'd him. I'd still love like, to see, oh, you know, I'd love to see a Mace Windu Oh, man, yeah, I would too. Like, can we see love something it. of him surviving the fall of the Or movie? even, like, let's just get a hint. Film of this guy. I, almost, I would go that I, far. I would go I, that far. I almost want it, but they just have to come up with some really good backstory. Which, Very if true. they go by his old comic backstory, he had some really cool backstory. Like, he had a lot of delve-ins with, you know, uh, betrayal from people he knew and loved, etc. Exactly. I could stay on here and just yeah, listen to you guys. Y'all are awesome. pretty darn cool, damn cool in my book. Law, yes, I said y'all. That's okay. Hey, we always we, say y'all. We here. say y'all here too. Colorado is not all that southern, but there's and still we're not some western. South we're not southern. We're nothing. We're very I mean, central. We're, we're we got a lot Midwest. of Midwest. Mid, we're very, very middle, middle dot. Middle dot. I would have to see. And so, as we, as we kind of move a little bit closer to the conclusion here, I guess we could say. Uh, if you if you had to take a pick, which side is would you? Ch- I, I guess I'll I'll ask the same question to you to everyone else in the cast. Which side would you choose? Yeah, if you had to choose a side, which one would you choose? Go? Side, which one? Uh, would you and go? The, and you we'll we'll allow the gray Jedi. We'll allow balance. But would you go light side, dark side, or gray? I would definitely have to go gray, man, because I think those Jedi were just so fucking so powerful because they use both sides of the force. I think because they, they believed in both I sides. I don't know. At the same time, I wonder if, the, you know, the 
you know, and I think about this in a lot of things. While overall mastery provides for the well-rounded, you know, etc., the the extreme is That's are always true. the ones that kind of break away, mm-hmm. and, and they're not, the ones that generally end up getting the upper hand as well. Oh, uh, sometimes. Sometimes like, it, it depends. It, it's just that the, the the balanced ones are more long-lasting, kind of filler, move the world around, whereas people with the which will be one my other, preference, right? Personally. Which is fine. That that makes the world go around. Making the world works work is a little bit of bad and a little bit of good. There's, mm-hmm. you know, people don't understand that. And if you've never under, oh, don't understand that, try being a manager, and you'll understand that. Even if you're not a dick, you kind of have to be a dick sometimes. That's and just done that. Yeah, like I said, I it, and it, 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 people. Someone tried to argue with, that with me the other day. It's like, oh, you can have a cool manager. I was like. I mean, you can have a cool manager. But until, then everybody until, will walk all over him. Yeah, it's like, but then he ain't going to be manager for that exactly. one. Like, you have to balance it. You have to be a little bit good and a little bit bad. Exactly. And just enough. Like, you know, only when you need to. And that's why I think that they come out in general situations and in general. And then, and the, not, and what I say with those extremists, not to say that they win versus that, but they make an impact because they're so extreme. Even if just mentally, they, you know, why is Darth Maul such an outstanding Sith? It's because, oh, because he's, he's all, all Sith. Sith. He's so all. He's all darkness. He's all wrath. Even Naomi Sunrider. Sunrider. That's why Naomi Sunrider was the perfect Jedi. Naomi Sunrider never wielded her lightsaber. Very true. She refused to. Mm-hmm. She refused to kill people. She no never even learned side. how to use it. She was an entirely force-based user, and yeah. still could defeat. Still her was opponents. powerful. Yeah. They like said she. That was who she used it on. Was. Uh, do you guys meet through comics, or did you guys meet through... Oh, we actually went to school together. Yeah, Same was, majors. Yep, we are music majors. You guys got that devil's lettuce. Yep, it is legal it here, is man. It is legal here, <laughs> sir. So, you know. But yeah, uh, did we have anything else you wanted to touch on? Uh, mm. Any announcements you got? I, I got my announcements uh, coming up on May 22nd, I believe, at the Pit Stop Tavern. My crew is... I was originally going to do it, but I had, you know, after several... Different play, cha- play, changes in plan. My crew is going to be running the show, and I'll just be making an appearance to show support. Nice. Uh, it'll be at the Pit Stop Tavern May twenty second. I can't remember if that's the one. It has like a former strange music artist performing, wow. Young Blue Muso, awesome. I think, or something. Uh, it come through. The tickets are like ten bucks. Please hit me up, uh, not through the Comic Convos page, but at Axel Grave. Uh, on Facebook, Axel Grave. It'll be facebook.com slash Axel Grave 303. You can hit me up on twitch.tv we'll slash actually Axel share, Grave. We'll actually share all of our stuff we're, on here as well. We're going to be doing a lot more of that. We're, we're still getting all the logistics for Comic Convos together to figure out exactly how we want to run it, what we want to do, how, what we want to talk about, uh, and who we, who we... Not just... We will talk with anyone, but who we talk with and how, how we can talk with you to make, to make Comic Convos better. Because we still, in my opinion, our, my belief is that the best co- episodes we have are the ones where you guys come in and talk with us. As many people viewing, you know, that's cool for us, I guess, but it doesn't make the podcast hey, you any you guys, the, the people you who comment make that it. talk to us. Right. Ones uh, for cast. example, like Felicia, even the ones who give us a, views that we don't agree with, you know, or bring up things that and they And that's amazing. We need debates, you know. I mean, we need we There's need conversations, other you know, we need to talk about these mm-hmm. things. We can't just agree on everything. That's not, I mean... That's not really a conversation. And in the next few weeks, you guys will see us, you know, still doing the same. We'll still be back for Comic Convos, but there may even be some changes. We may do some, maybe some switching up, may have some guests. You never know. We're, we're, we're hoping to add some elements and, and kind of adjust uh, our plan as we go to see what we want to do with you guys. Um, we've been partnering with Star Wars Pages. Thank you to Thank you uh, so much guy, to, to Guy to Cabrera, to Felicia. Felicia. Um, all the pages, you guys so all much the Star Wars pages who show us, us support and help us. us. We try to help you too. We'll try to do more posts on our page to support your group. We also always mention you mm-hmm. in the video. Actually, me and Vid- uh, Leo found this out earlier, but the True Man of Honor comics gave us a shout out on YouTube. Yeah, while we, we actually were posted doing... our YouTube video. So thank you so much, Michael. Yeah. Thank you so much, TMH Comics. You guys have been super supportive of us as yeah, well. And, and your comic is awesome, dude. It I is. mean, I we can't wait really for the next chapter. We can't wait to that begins. So please, the next issue is going to be great. Uh, um, I'm not get guests or do Collins. Maybe some reactions to. We could do reactions to trailers. Yeah, I think I think we'll do side. a couple we'll reactions. Do some trailers, reactions. Uh, the problem is we were having tr- r- trouble running trailers. Bad life. I'm getting off for sure. May the fourth be with you guys. Happy hey, Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. 
Uh, All right. And we will. And then on my end of things, guys, I'm still running the Blur Blog, so come on by. I post every single week. Um, I'm now a Fandango affiliate, so if anybody needs movie tickets, let me know. I can get you a much cheaper movie ticket, and it'll help me out as well. Also, I'm starting Movie Review Tuesdays again. On Tuesday, on my personal page... Um, you, you can either you can either find it on Leo Sky or Leo Rydell, the Friendly Neighborhood Blurred. I'll be doing Facebook Live, um, almost kind of like Common Convos, but geared towards the movie of that week. And we're just gonna review and discuss what happened, um, just like what's gonna happen with Guardians of the Galaxy this Thursday. Yep. So yeah, guys, be on the lookout for our personal endeavors. We'll keep you guys updated and posted, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Have fun. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a Exclusive access for as low as a dollar.